Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called Dolacitron, and the brand is actually Ansimet. It falls under the class of antiemetics and also serotonin receptor antagonist. So how does it work in the body? If you guys have listened to my video about Zofran, you're going to find a lot of similarities because they are in the same drug class. And if you haven't seen my Zofran video, I'll go ahead and link it up in the right-hand corner. But basically, it blocks the action of serotonin, which many times can be the cause of nausea and vomiting. It is also a 5-HT. T3 receptor antagonist. Your indications are going to be nausea and vomiting. The dose is 12 and a half milligrams IV or 100 milligrams PO. Your pediatric dose is 0.35 milligrams per kilogram IV to a max of 12 and a half milligrams. And it is not recommended for children under two years old. Contraindications of Dolacitron can include hypersensitivity to 5-HT3 receptor antagonists and also long QT syndrome. Adverse reactions can include headache, hypotension, abnormal EKGs, fever, a prolonged QT interval, and gastric discomfort. Drug interactions. When it's used in conjunction with phenothiazines, haloperidol, calcium channel blockers, and class 3 antidysrhythmics, there can be some cardiac side effects, so just be aware of this. How it's supplied. It's typically supplied in 20 milligrams in one milliliter vial or 50 and 100 milligram tablets to be taken PO. A few side notes about Dolocitron. You want to avoid giving it in patients that have congenital QT syndrome, prolonged QT intervals, etc. 5-HT3 receptor antagonists can be extremely dangerous for these patients. And just a heads up, it tends to be more effective if given before the vomiting begins. It is a highly effective medication for nausea. It's also very beneficial in patients that may have had chemotherapy recently because chemotherapy is linked to the release of serotonin in the body. The most common Common 5-HT3 receptor antagonist that's carried on your typical run-of-the-mill 911 EMS ambulance is Zofran. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching each and every week, and I will see you next week. Bye!